Hey everybody, I'm Randall Reynolds and I'm here today to talk to you about how I make my water for the dioramas that you've seen in the videos and the pictures. Uh, the product that I use is called Cellucay. Uh, I get it here at Michael's in the States. Uh, if you're out of the country, you can look it up. Uh, you can go to michaels.com. I'm sure a lot of places will have it. You can even Google it and find out where to get it in your area. First thing that I do because I'm doing a 1350 scale diorama this time, I've got my piece of laminate board that it's going to go on. I've already cut it to the size and shape and everything that uh, it'll be sitting on with the case over top of it. So it's already trimmed to that dimension. But what I've done, if you notice, if you look on this side, I've cut grooves in it. That's because with a smooth surface like this with the laminate, once the actual cellulose dries, it'll have a tendency to want to peel off. So you might have to go back and glue it over again, and it just becomes a pain. What you can do is you can cut grooves in the board that you're working in. If you have access to a table saw, you're in luck. Otherwise, you could probably just score it, scratch it with sandpaper or something like that. But with a good groove in it, it tends to hold really well. After it dries, it seeps in and everything, and it's got a glue to itself. So this is what we're going to use for the 1350 USS Lexington diorama, which I'm going to show you in this video. Stay tuned. All right, everybody, I'm back. Now, what I've got here is I've got the full hull plate that I did not use because my ship's going to be waterline. Sometimes your models may only come with just a waterline plate. You can use this just the same as you would this, except I'm going to turn this upside down. You would put this on there, you would draw your line, same aspects about what I'm getting ready to show you. Now, I've got the 1350 scale full hull plate for this, and I'm going to put this on the board where I want it to go. I've got to draw my lines out. Once I got it pretty much set, I'm just going to go ahead and put pencil marks where this thing's going to sit. It doesn't have to be perfect right off the bat because you're going to be able to form it to the hole when it's laid down. Now that's pretty much where that's going to be. Now as you can see, I've got my mix made already. So it should be the consistency of dough. You should be able to mush it around pretty good. I've got enough of it to do all the way around. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this back on. I'm going to start laying this down. Now when you're putting this on, you don't want to get it to, to be too thick because obviously as a water line, it's already going to be there and be flat so you can't create a large space for this to sit in. If it was even uh, half an inch too high it wouldn't quite look right for your diorama so you want to put this on relatively thin no more than probably I would say no more than about three sixteenths of an inch and what you can do is you just get this down pretty much where it's going to stay for the time being. Your first initial process is you just want to get it in there so that it'll stick. You also want to get a bowl of water close handy, kind of lukewarm a little bit because that does help a little bit. To be able to move around a little bit, you can take it and... I'm moving the camera, but as you can see, you just want to put it on just thin enough for everybody to see the water line plate. You want to keep going around with that. Okay, now that I've pretty much got all of my cellular clay on there, what I'm going to do, a bowl of good clean water, preferably warm, is good once it's finally done. Because what you're going to do is you're going to take your wet hand and you're going to rub it in like that. You're going to get it where you want. You're going to form it where the waves are going to come up, look like they're rolling a little bit, put some indentations, bring it up in some areas. Because even though it's flipped up, the going to want a rolling effect like that across the waves, or across the uh, hull, I mean. So you just form it, you get it going a little bit. Now, it's okay that these are going to be hanging over the edge because all this is going to be cleaned up when it's said and done. The best thing to do after this is done this way is you want to let it sit up for about an hour or two. Uh, if it's really wet, then you might want to let it sit just a little bit longer. We'll do that next step when we come back. Okay, what I have here is I've got what's left of the cellulose clay in my bowl. 
This isn't trash, so don't throw it away. You're going to want to keep this. You can put a lid on the bowl, or you can scoop it up and put it in a plastic bag. You can throw it in the refrigerator. It'll stay good for about a week. Uh, it's not bad, because you're going to want to use this again after it's all said and done. So this is the end of part one of the video, and I'll be able to show you more as we go along. Uh, the, the water line, the water base has to sit for a little while. So stay tuned for video two, and I'll be able to show you the next step. Thanks for tuning in.